Hi folks, Doing Friends here. Right, this video I'm going to be showing you what I call my camp kit. When I'm set up my camp, I've took off my rucksack. Yeah, I will show you what I call it. So that when you're walking past. I do apologise that I'm inside again. Dopey dog's behind the camera, so I'm not going to show you Dopey Dog in a minute. I'm just going to bring the camera down. As you can see, it's a yoking system. So I'll bring the camera down so you can see it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because I don't want to. I'm only going to go through one pouch today and it's only halfway finished and look, this pouch here. Yeah, the difference is guys, this pouch, this yoke and this kit, apart from this pouch, what I'm going to go through with you guys is the only thing what stays on my belt. This is my belt for my rucksack. These are my straps for my rucksack. I will go put my rucksack later on. I do apologize for that. Dopey dogs just for something onto the floor. So give me a second, guys. I'll get set up and then I'll show you. All right, guys. As you can see, I'm all set up. I'm I am still here. This is the pouch I'm going to go through today. This is a cheap version of a Condor Ripaway pouch. I don't use it as my first aid pouch. I use it as my camp kit when I'm around camp. As I said, this kit's not finished. I'm still working on it. I will go through the rest of the contents on my belt kit when I do my rucksack because this is mainly for the rucksack. This belt kit is just everything I need. Everything I got. Okay, guys, so as you can see, ripped away. Right, give me a second again, guys. I'll just set up again. Right, as I was saying, this is the pouch I'm going to go through. Yeah, it is a cheap version of the Condor Ripaway pouch. It is a good pouch. But this is not a first aid pouch for me guys, this is a pouch if anything happens to my camp and I had to leave, I can just leave and I can still be safe and I've still got things on me. So yeah, this goes into my rucksack when I'm not, when I'm using my rucksack. Right, let's go into it shall we? As I said though guys, don't forget, as I said, it's not finished, but there's some of the contents. I do have it in individual things because it's just easier for me. I think I probably would go mad if it wasn't organised. To start off with, there's my fire kit. I will link another video to this um, to a fire kit like this one. It's not exactly the same, but it is one like it. I will link that into in the corner or at the end screens okay guys so I have a fire kit I do have some tinder I do have some fat weight and I do have I think it's 20 in here or 25 one of the two uh, for cotton ball soap basically in here and as well I do carry a small shovel a small shovel small stove in here as well as I said, there is things in my belt kit what's not in here because I can't fit it in here. What complements with this kit? Okay, guys, right, let's start at the top here. I do have everybody's favourite things. I do have um, toilet wipes. Yes, they're in individual packets. There's about 10 in each one, so there's enough there to do a few days. If I need any more, I would have to move on to the bandana. What is in this kit? In the belt. Where's the belt? I do have a pocket slingshot. I do have a reasonably good diamond knife sharpener in here. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's yellow at the back, so I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some tape back here. So see what happens. See what comes up. So that's that one. In the very back of this pouch, I haven't yet sealed this yet, but I'm going to be doing this. I have a, a foil blanket plus an emergency sleeping bag. It's small, it's compact, and it would do me for a few days if until I get back to my supplies, what I need. Okay, so that's that one there. And in the very back. In a pencil case, I do have an emergency poncho. I 
I do have a emergency water purification kit. Give me a second. Sorry, wait. In this emergency, um, what do you call it? Water purification kit. I do carry some potassium permanganate. I recommend people to do their research before they do this. Don't just watch YouTube videos because some people on YouTube don't actually tell you the right thing on this. I'm, I have got a plan of a video coming up soon. I've just got to do it. So, got potassium permanganate. With the potassium permanganate, I do have a small little spoon type thing to get it out with. Then I know exactly how much I've got instead of using my fingers or instead of just tapping it in. I know exactly how much I use. So. So I've got them. I've got some purification tablets. I think there's 12 in there. I've got five of these in here. It's a sorry about that, someone just emailed me off on one of my last videos. I got five coffee filters in here. And as well I have a mill bag bag. I'm not taking the mill bag bag out because oh, I will. So no one, no one has seen it before. That's a mill bag bag. It's old style filtering. It don't disinfect nothing like that. You still have to boil it, but it gets rid of all the big couple particles and plus small particles in the water. They are good. I recommend them. I have two. I have one in this. I have one in my bag, and I have one in this kit. I have one in this water purification kit and I have one in my main water purification kit. Well, I will show you a new upgrade of that kit soon. I know I've done one recently, but I've changed it. Right, what are we on? I'll put that away in a minute. As you can see, I've got a lot of rubbish around because I've been doing kits. I've been sorting out my kits a bit. Right. Here, I recommend this, but not many people will. I've got insect repellent in here. It's not much. It's a spray bottle. It's one of those perfume bottles. What women carry travel perfume in with. And as well, I do carry. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do carry. I do have some citronella candles in here. I think it's citronella. I don't know. I can't say it, I don't think. But I do have some of them in here. You know, I have two candles plus some insect repellent itself as well. I have got an insect band going in this kit. I've just forgot to put it in here for this video. So, I've got one there. As you all know, I'm a big hygiene person. I believe in hygiene. I believe in everything like that. So, I recommend... I, um, this is a kit still not finished. As you can see, there's still stuff missing. It's just that I'm trying to... I've, I've put this across. It's took me maybe three, four months just to do what I've done so far. So it's going to take me another three or four months probably to finish it off because I'm so in depth when it comes to putting my stuff together. Yeah, so I have a hygiene kit, small hygiene kit. I will, I think I've done a 72 hour hygiene kit video. I will link that up here as well, up in the corner as well. I do have a mini fishing kit and I do have some still four bear uh, still four bear oh just dropped half them on the floor still have some steel ball bearings for my sling shot pocket sling shot so it looks like I'll be sorting them out when I get back home in a minute and I've got a pocket fishing kit you don't really need to see a pocket of you like I've got two lures I've got some hooks and I've got some swivels and I've got some line everything like that all in this little pouch oh pencil case <laughs> so yeah and as well I have a foot care kit I have some blister plasters back here I have some bit of uh, powder foot powder and I have two other creams I like to use I don't really rarely use the creams but I like to have them just in case because I know in a bug out situation or like type of situation if you have to leave yeah you're going to be in a lot of pain with your feet and your feet is the most important part of your body because at the end of the day if your feet are bad that means you can't do anything that means you won't be able to get food that means you won't be able to go to places that means you won't be able to get water nothing so 
I recommend just getting a cupcake kit. I will put another link. I will put a link up in the corner again for the cupcake kit. Did you? I think that's it so far, guys. As I said, this is not finished. As you can see, that pouch there. I'm planning this one here, the one flapping, flapping down. I'm planning to put a um, first aid pouch, first aid kit in that one. I don't need to because I always give me a second will have my first aid pouch on me at all times. This is my new first aid pouch. I've done this myself. I've never seen anyone on YouTube having this, like a drop leg first aid kit. But if there is somebody, please let me know. Um, I will. Um, I will maybe do a. I may do a video of this in the next couple. Uh, coming maybe coming up. If you want to see what the contents in this, just let me know in the description. So yeah, it's just something I need to. I'm working on. I'm still working on everything, I don't stop, so yeah. So, that's so far guys, the, the contents of my, what I call my camp or one away camp kit. Basically, and as I said, it's not, I'm, I will show you the other pouch, what I've got, but the other pouch this more time I haven't got because I haven't finished it. And I don't want to finish. I don't want to show you unless it's finished. This one is not finished, but don't forget this is part one. I think it's going to be maybe three parts to this little series. So yeah. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you would add. Tell me what you would take away. Because at the end of the day, I'm still learning on this stuff, especially with all these bags. I've got loads of these bags. No. I like to make sure my kit's perfect before I actually go out and use it. I go to use it. If it's not perfect, I'll come back, I'll change something, and then I'll go and use it again. If it's not perfect, if it's not perfect again, I'll come back and use it again, change it again. That's what I believe in. I don't believe in just leaving it in the cupboard and just forgetting about it. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because it's now nearly, it's, well, it's nearly 12 and a half minutes. So, please like, please share, please subscribe, and if you want to you can email me my email address could be in the description if you'd like to um, hit me up on Facebook my Facebook be in the description as well okay guys thank you very much for watching I do apologize that's inside video again it's just I can't do it thank you for watching see you soon guys bye bye